Good morning, folks. The large northern filament remains stable across the Earth-facing half of our star and now begins departing top right there, at least seven solar tornadoes. Right behind it at the eastern limb, we see awesome coronal cavity shapes due to plasma and magnetic field influence over the coronal particles. And folks, we also have sunspot development around that large filament down south we identified yesterday. We'll peek in on that in a moment. But first, let's jump to spaceweathernews.com to find the last day on our star was quite calm yet again. Coronal holes north and south but far away from the equator and no pops or flashes. It's not surprising given the onset dominance of the solar quiet since the planets aligned. Our ray of hope in terms of X-ray emissions is the development of smaller sunspot groups near the northern portion of that filament which now runs right between those two groupings. Eyes open for destabilization events. After 16 days with no gamma bursts, our third in about two days just streamed in from the Boots constellation this morning. Looking at the solar wind, we see the intensified stream we've expected, but in a rare heliospheric event the small filament CME appears to have overtaken the coronal hole stream. Very rare to see something like that. All Earth's meters are showing the impact, and although the KP index only hit 4, the Q hit 6, and the K index hit 7 at Karuna, which would be a level 3 storm. Let's come down to Earth and peek in on the top storm. While Australia and New Zealand do have some rain to worry about, that cyclone amidst the islands to the north is the top storm on the planet. It is no surprise then that an Earth spot rumble topped our seismic magnitude charts nearby at 6.0, largest of the last 24 hours. Folks, it was a tough weekend in Libya. The sky looked like something out of biblical times with the sand and dust storms that have now moved on to Egypt. This was just a few hours ago in Cairo. Winds expected to remain high for a bit. You know how the pressure spins, so the cold in the east is no surprise, while the next set of earth spots still approaches the west coast, bringing the rain with it. Across the pond, the northern low is dropping temperatures to record lows in Scandinavia, while the oceanic earth spots are still half a day from reaching Portugal. In 11 days, our conference finale takes place in Phoenix, observing the frontier. Just one weekend in between now and when the observers descend on the desert. Head to spaceweathernews.com OTF for details. And our book, by the same name, covers a ton of our favorite topics in greater detail, actually answers about half the questions I get via email, it's available at otf.cells.com as either a PDF download or the hardcover copy. We've got shots of our star to close. It's 5.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.